All right, hello tigers and welcome back from our winter break. And I thought for tonight's story we would read Let It Snow. And this is by Holly Hobby. Let It Snow. <clears throat> Christmas was just around the corner and Puddle hadn't seen a single snowflake yet. Just let it snow, he wistfully pleaded to the sky. There had to be snow. His friend Toot was more concerned about another matter altogether. He wanted to give Puddle a wonderful Christmas surprise, the best present ever. He knew that the best present was usually something you made yourself, a one-of-a-kind thingamajig, not just a what's-it anyone could buy in a store. One year, he made Puddle a bright red sled. They named it the WP Rocket. Another year, he gave his pal a mysterious seed pod. They waited half the winter to see how it would bloom. And just last Christmas, he presented Puddle with a real raft, big enough for two, the WP Pond Lily Queen. They couldn't wait until spring to launch it. This year, though, Toot was really stumped. Puddle was a contented homebody. He was a cook and a gardener and an artist. He loved trees and birds in his own backyard. He was certainly the best friend you could possibly have. What could he possibly give good old Puds for Christmas? Here he is a cook, a gardener, an artist. He loves trees and birds. Of course, Puddle was asking him this asking himself the same question about Toot. One year he knit him a wool sweater. Another Christmas he gave him a purple ball for balancing on. Then there was the year of Puddle's giant plum pudding, which kept them merrily stuffed for a month. Puddle knew Toot inside and out. His friend loved hiking and adventures, adventuring in strange places. He loved maps and gear and exciting weather. He was brave and daring and jolly. He was the best friend ever. What was just the thing for good old Tootles this year? When Puddle phoned his cousin Opal to ask her opinion, she said, a little cuddly something would be nice, like a homemade doll. For two, asked Puddle. I think he'd really like that, said Opal. When two called Opal with the same question concerning Puddle, she said the same thing. Maybe a homemade doll of some sort. A doll? Toot was puzzled. Something soft and cute, she said. That night, it began to snow. The next morning, Toot and Puddle awoke to a new world. The snow had been silently falling through the night, now blanketed everything with a hushed, gleaming luster. The skis, Toot called. Where are the skis? I've got them, Puddle cried eagerly. Let's go. The path through the woods became a magical journey. The two friends skied along in silence, stirred by the beauty surrounding them. When they stopped to rest, Puddle said, I wish I could take this morning and put it in my pocket and keep it forever. Me too, Toot sighed. It's perfect. But then, by evening, hard rain began to fall. Oh no, Puddle protested. And by the next day, the glorious snow was gone. I can't believe it, Toot frowned. Neither can I, Puddle said sadly. I was all set to go sledding. His spirits had been momentarily dampened. Still, Christmas was coming. It was almost here, snow or no snow, and the two friends soon plunged into a state of busy excitement. As for presents, Toot spent every spare minute in his workshop in the basement, clearly inspired at last and Puddle was up to something equally private and absorbing in the attic. On Christmas Eve, 
the two friends emerged from their workrooms, and each of them carried a handsomely wrapped something or other. Wouldn't you like to open your present right now? Toot asked. We have to wait until tomorrow, Puddle said, when Opal comes. Christmas morning in Woodcock Pocket was brimming with anticipation. Opal soon arrived. As the youngest, she was the first to open presents. How did you know what I wanted, she wondered appreciatively. It was just a lucky guess. What do you see she got? Looks like two dolls, soft and cuddly. What will you name them, asked Puddle. Well, said Opal, I'll have to get to know them first. One is probably a toot, and one is probably a puddle. What is a puddle? Puddle asked. And what in the world is a toot, said Toot. You know, Opal replied. I'm sure they're best friends, but one is one way and one is the other. Oh, said the friends together. Merry Christmas, Toot beamed, presenting his enormous gift to Puddle. His friend unwrapped, unwrapped the package slowly and carefully. I love it, said Puddle. I made it myself, said Toot proudly. I know. It's for sledding, snow or no snow. Let's go sledding today, said Opal. And Merry Christmas to you, Puddle. Er, and Merry Christmas to you, Puddle said, presenting his package. Toot tried to remain calm, but he couldn't quite suppress his eagerness. It's for you and me, said Puddle shyly, he added, that snowy day in the woods. It's you and me, said Puddle shyly, he added, that snowy day in the woods. It's perfect, Toot said, standing back to admire his friend's work. There we are. And on the end it says, you and me. So he's the artist and he made that picture for his friend. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed your winter break and I'm so glad that you're all back. And I hope everyone got some wonderful presents and maybe even made some homemade ones for someone special of your own. Have a great night, Tigers. I'll see you in the morning.